okay. This is kind of odd to be recording and to not be streaming at the same time. Anyways, so this video is basically just straight for YouTube. I'm not even going to bother. I haven't done anything for YouTube in a while. I'm going to try it. Um, I am here in World Editor, but you don't actually need to be in World Editor to do most of what I'm going to do. Okay, you just got to make sure that you go to this. If you not, don't want to be in World Editor, you type in a DM if it's in your own server or um, just in your single player game. You want to type in DM after hitting F1 to get to this menu right here. You got to make sure that if you're in World Editor, DM should already be on. So if you type in DM, it's going to say D debug menu off. Alternatively, you can also type in CM for creative menu. Um, that's not really as important. DM is really the major thing that's way more important that I can do more stuff with, in my opinion. So I just turned, typed in DM the second time to make sure it's back on right here. And we're going to get with this. Today, I'm mostly just going to go into some of these options because I just found this out myself. I was looking for stuff online. I couldn't really find anything. And I found out that a lot of people are having this problem. Okay, so I'm just going to hit clear. I'm going to hit, uh, first off, let's go to options. The best way to do this is to look at this first. Go to, um, no, no, no. Miscellaneous, here we go, miscellaneous. So the selection set by my button is set to Z. So that is what we're going to go with. Okay, so in here we're gonna hit Z. Type it that block right there. We're going to go, let's say no, I don't like this one over here. Speed this up. We want to get back into the forest. There we go. We're going to go up here. And. Damn it. I want to go somewhere nice. Yeah, that'll work right there. Okay. But no, we're not going to do it right there. We're going to do a fly mode so I can sink. Okay. I hit Z down here. So the one point I hit Z was all the way over there. Now I'm going to create, and I hit like all the way down the bottom because if you, for some reason it won't go up and down, you all got to make sure like from one point it has to be up there, the other point has to be down there to create that whole cube effect. Now, uh, going back to the options, going back to controls, going back to miscellaneous. My delete section button is this right here. Now, to do most of this stuff, and you can just do it in World Editor. Um, in World Editor, you get all these. Oh, cool, I can actually speed up time. I did not know that. Okay. Anyways. Let's see, where's all the buttons? Here we go. In World Editor, you once you have that little spot highlighted, you can go to this, and my button for clearing sections is J. So, you hit J to clear it. Come on. It's going to take a little bit because it is a big section. Um, I did just delete a whole lot of stuff. And also in World Editor, um, one thing to keep in mind, oh, to unhighlight stuff, I used this button right here, this delete section. It's not actually deleting everything your box says in it. You're just deleting what you're selecting in general. Just to keep in mind, do not confuse the two. And... Why is this down here? This should have been deleted too. Okay, I have this is some weird indestructible land. Oh, okay. I guess that's just a glitch. Anyways, um, now. Just for the sake of purposes of being able to get rid of things if I need them to. I'm going to plot a concrete block, which can be done by pressing U while you're in World Editor or have God Mode on or DM Menu enabled or CM, which is Creative Menu enabled. You can get all your DV, your dev weapons and everything like that by typing dev right there. Just going to go right there. You got the super wrench, the paintbrush, the pin poncho, 
the Ring of Fire, which basically, fun fact, the Ring of Fire is quite amazing because it kills any enemy around you at all times, so it leaves you to do all of your fun, fun little trials and errors and buildings without being bothered. It is quite nice. The insta-kill weapon, of course. Um, this one, but, and then we have the super digger, which is nah, not my favorite thing to use. It takes way too long to destroy a lot of crap. And on top of that, it's just like, why do you realistically need it? I don't know. Like, you don't get the resources. Like, I guess if you're a an admin, if you want to just destroy someone's base just for being a pain in the ass. But you could just do the selection thing I just did. I personally find the hammer thing way more effective right here. Um, just because you get all the resources from it. So it really helps out a lot more. Anyways, going back to this. Um, to do the exact opposite of what I was going to do, I'm just going to hit Z right here. And I'm going to hit Z right there. Okay, this is the whole area right here now right there, that I'm going to fill. Now, in this menu, you want to go to the second level tools right here, or if you just know the hotkeys, you see my fill selection is L. I don't even need to do that. I can do L, and it's going to fill up the concrete. It's whatever basically is being selected um, right here. Whatever this is right here, that's what you're going to get. Um, so right here for me is concrete blocks. I know part of my screen is being cut off. I know it's being stupid. Um, I'll work on it later. Anyways, so going back to just deleting this, now you have this super big concrete block section. This is what I was saying, like, why do this? But yeah, see this right here? Like, all concrete, all the way through. Fun stuff. Now, alternatively, you do not need to do this. You could do it in a slightly less fashionable and annoying way. I'm going to select this section right here, escape, and then you can also hit this right here. Uh, it fills in a random 10% block with a current active block on the tool belt. But why would you want to do that? I don't know. Like, eventually it's just going to fill up. But then you just have something like this, which can be cool. It can be quite cool because you can guess uh, the squad of this right here, go right here, go right here. Yeah, I can kind of just like hang out, but not this one. I'm actually going to destroy that because that's annoying to see. I think my Z was... No, that wasn't it. Z was that. It was J or L? J. Okay, J was my hotkey for deleting something. Fun fact, um, things will not fall in... The, it's like the world is currently frozen. Things will not move, like... Like, let's see. Like, see, this obviously should collapse. It is not stable by any means, for the most part. It, nothing you do will make this collapse. You can make it completely, um... Like, let me show you, show you what I mean. Uh, nope, that's not what I'm doing. All my keys, all the wrong buttons. Clear that. You gotta clear, make sure you clear it each and every time, otherwise it will not work properly, and it will be annoying. Like, look at this. Okay, nothing is obviously connecting this land to anything, but because it is in World Editor, it will stay like that. Okay, this was the main thing I wanted to make a video on just because, well, let's be honest, uh, it's kind of annoying trying to find all of that stuff. Um, just something else I wanted to show you guys in this admin mode was, no, well, this is also in regular game too, going back to command box, you can also show, um, commands, no, does it show commands? No, um, I'll figure out what it is. Anyways, going back here, show ground level, I can do that. It'll show you basically what, wait, what, how is that ground level up there? There's no way that's ground level, that is so weird. Okay, no way, okay, that's obviously, oh! Okay, so it's something you can obviously move up and down. 
for some reason, I'm not really sure the purpose of it, but it is what it is. And then you can also build prefab things. Let's see, like government, like you can... Let's see, um... Yeah, okay. Um, what? What just happened? I think it's because I didn't save my level. I don't know. That's still weird to me. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to figure out this next time. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I didn't see that before. Okay, I'm going to work on these and how to place these in another time. This uh, requires a selection phase. Okay, Z. Z. Load and show. What is up with that box up there? Anyways, so you always want to make sure you save your world afterwards, and there we go. Place prefab. I knew I'd get it. Okay, let's do another one. Let's. So I made my zone. You always gonna make sure you put your zone down. Oh, what's this? Load into. Okay, once it loads into, now you can place the prefab. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of it, I think. Let's go into... Ooh, that's cool. This is a huge thing. That is quite epic. Oh my god. Yeah, it even came with all the zombies involved, too. Um, you yeah, know, while I'm here, I might as well just show you that... Come on. I'm currently pressing my plus sign. So I can get to the zombies faster because it is. Okay. This is what I mean that in this menu, you can basically just do whatever you want. It won't kill you. You can press U, like I said, to do all this stuff. And then I think it's, uh, what is it? No? Okay. So it's K to open the prefab menu, but that's not. Oh, I'm going to go and chat when I go back into. I figured this out before. Let me just go to the spawn screen. F6, there it is. Okay, F6. Even if I go into. I can kill them, but, um. Unless you actually turn on that UI and stuff like that, which isn't really an option, nothing's really going to happen from this menu right here. It's kind of just pointless. Hey, look, I made a joke blend. Okay, anyways. Um, I'm just going to exit out of here because I don't really want to save all that. I'm going to go to my world. Um, let's see, the Wakobu territory. This can be a little bit annoying just because... Yeah. Do I want to do that one or do I want to go to a small one? Those are all in older worlds, so. Yeah, I'm just going to create a new world real quick. New game. Uh, no, I do not want them that massive. I 
I'm sure this works. Um, advanced generation. Okay, that's gonna teach you. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, I'm uh, just gonna close out the game because apparently exiting out of that does not. It doesn't like it when you do that. So we're just gonna reopen it up. Uh, you're gonna see it go down for a second, and we're going to be back! Good stuff. As soon as uh, Steam loads up, which it's currently having trouble loading up with. Anyways, uh, update, updating 7 days die, um, app running. Okay, that is quite annoying indeed. I knew something like that would happen. I was really hoping it on here. Because this is just nobody, you know? Nobody, you know? Come on, initializing world. Yes, building, create, no, is it creating player, building environment, there we go. One of these days I'll eventually get to be a mod. And I'll just do some mods. Okay, going here, like I said, typing DM in, turning the, the debug menu on. Hey, look, anything good? Cool, blue. Anyways, gonna go back to getting my stuff. stuff. Um, gonna grab that, gonna grab that. I don't even know what, what the fridge does this do. Fool's cap. Um, yeah, sure. Oh, apparently it's a band-aid of some sort. Anyways, gonna, uh, yeah. apparently it's, um, a band-aid that just doesn't go away or something or another. Anyways! I should probably just Q. So just put COD mode on by hitting Q. One, even when you're outside of uh, the debug menu, you put COD mode in. You basically never die. You don't have to worry about hot, cold, stamina, nothing. Makes it really, really nice in single player. Like, if you have the, like, one time I got stuck where the trader was eight and a half kilometers away from me. What kind of shenanigans is that? Who waits that long to get to the damn trader? Okay, let's see. The whole area should be empty. Okay. Okay, anyways, so... Fun thing is, notice that when you're not in World Editor, all these options go away. Yeah, there's sure a way of doing it in the XUI codes or whatever they're called. You can actually add those back in, but it is a pain. It is annoying. You gotta figure out what program to run the XUI program in. You gotta open that stuff up. I just don't have the time for that. No, nope, not happening. Okay. Anyways. So, to basically just delete something, I'm going to hit K. K is my prefab menu. You're going to go to Dynamic Prefabs. You notice that you can't actually fill in this. You, would, you can only take away. You can only clear stuff, which is fine. Because most of the time, that's what you're doing. If you need to fill it in, in this menu, I would honestly just exit and go to the World Editor option. Do whatever you need to do in World Editor, save it, and then come back to it. Yes, you can do that. It is so much easier than going into you, spawning blocks, and just, um, ST, ST, so much quicker. We're gonna go to, where is just a regular block? Stainless steel block, here we go. Just, you can either do that with dirt or stainless steel blocks, and you just basically be filling it in the entire time. And even the XUI files, I don't know, there's a video out there, but it shows it just how it randomly fills in 10% of the video. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Why do I want to only do 10% of the time? It is a waste of time. No, just, it's easier just to select, select, and clear, fill, whatever. Anyways, so that's how you do that. Um, 
Hey, 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 bye. Anyways, so that is all I wanted to do in this video. I just wanted to cover how to use that creative menu, how to spawn things, um, how to spawn things in this still. Okay, let's uh go back here. I'm still in God mode. Leg isn't broken. It's amazing. Anyways, we're gonna hit F6. We're gonna go to Irrated Arlene. Now, um, let's see. Anyways, there's a button that a lot of YouTubers do on how to spawn zombies in this. I'm not exactly sure. Why are they going down there? I don't get it. Why? There's nothing for you down there. Anyways, to... Wait, what? Why am I doing this? Apparently going in, hitting F5 does that. I don't know what the purpose of it is. Oh, okay, there we go. So, to lock your camera, you hit F6. F6 also releases it. P freezes your current view in place. So you don't your camera doesn't mess with it. So I'm gonna hit P here. I'm gonna hit F5 and look at that magic freaking booba. Where is my person? Oh. There we go. I am firing again. Your person doesn't actually fire from where they are. It's kind of weird. Um, let's see. How do I? Four is to bring up the window. F3 brings up that. Oh, that's nice, actually. That's F1. F. 12 is actually for screenshots in game, which is quite nice. Okay, F7 brings it up and down that toolbar. It's very nice. Anyways, uh, I covered all about that. I really wanted to cover this video. I wanted, just wanted to show people how to do the fill menu, how to do all that stuff. And I think I have succeeded. Oh my god. I only hope this video helps you as much as it did me. Um, oh, I can also see the visibility. The stability also helps when you're building on your own. Anyways, this is Braddy Vicky. That is my number one thing. Sometimes you'll see me on League of Legends as she as no no vegan no broke as she vegan. There we go. Um, but most of the time, I'm just looking for random servers on this and trying not to get banned. Most of the time, I get banned unintentionally, which is quite odd because I've gotten banned from quite a few servers. Anyways, have a great day. I hope you enjoy this video as much as me. I hope it helps you as much as me. And just enjoy. I'm going to try and edit this. If I can't, you're going to see all this crap. I highly advise you to speed up if you're just jumping to the end. Yeah. Anyways, goodbye. Goodbye forever.